I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I just wanted to get my life back on track. Hey guys, bonjour tout le monde. Hola a todos. Hermano Adorio. It is Andre. It's about 7.07 right now. I am going to the doctor's office because I'm pre-diabetic. And so today I'm going 82 days without eating bread, rice, or noodles. I've never done that before in my life. She actually told me to tone down my bread and noodle intake, but I decided to cut it out altogether. I would even eat um, orange chicken without the rice. Like, I would take the orange chicken and I wouldn't have any of the rice, which is so unheard of for my family not to have rice at all. Because I grew up eating rice every day, sometimes three times a day, and I love rice. But we'll see how I do today. Uh, I'll update you guys here in a second. I just met with a doctor. I came in three months ago with an A1C of 6.0. And when I came in today, my A1C was 5.2, which makes me very happy because I worked really hard for the past three months to exclude bread, noodles, and rice out of my diet. So it really dropped it down. I'm also down 12 pounds. So that's great. Very, very happy about that. We also talked about my BMI. I'm at 39.8 or something like that and that is considered obese and she said that a good weight for me to aim for would be 176 or something like that so I have to lose 60 pounds in six months so that'll be that'll be pretty uh that'll be a lot but I think I can do it I really want to try I've gone this long without eating rice which I've never done before so I want to see what can happen in six months? So it's a good thing to aim for. In short, I'm no longer pre-diabetic. So for those of you who don't know, the fact that I was able to no longer be pre-diabetic is kind of huge for me because I never thought I'd be pre-diabetic in the first place. I always told myself, like, when I come to the States, I'm not going to get fat. I'm not going, I'm going to stay active because growing up, I was always active. I was always the skinny, skinny buff kid, I guess you could say, because here's a picture of me when I was 14. Um, this was back in Cameroon where I grew up and I was always playing soccer. I was always playing some sort of sport. And at the time I was at boarding school and everyone else was playing sports. So it was a huge thing for us. And then here's a picture of me in high school. This is like my, um, my second high school that I went to called Rift Valley Academy. Um, and I, I still wasn't like fat, fat, but where you start seeing the change is in college so in college i started putting on some pounds because i swear the first thing i did when i came to college was i ordered a pizza to my dorm like three times that week because i said wow i'm actually in the united states i'm actually in america and food just shows up like food comes to you and up until that point that's never been a thing for me so I ordered like three pizzas and I would eat the entire pizza because it was so good. And it was just, that's when it started getting like pretty bad is I started going to Taco Bell, McDonald's and it just went on and on. <laughs> One of my friends, uh, his name's Tom slash Landon. He, there was a picture of me, the picture that I showed earlier. He said, 
Taco Bell and McDonald's killed that kid. <laughs> Which, like, I mean, he, he's not wrong, but yeah. But yeah, here's a picture of me in college when I was at my heaviest. So when I came in to see um, my doctor the first time, I weighed 250 pounds, which was the heaviest I had been. Before, like, before I came and saw her though, I was like 254. And here is the latest video of me um, from my high school reunion. As you can see, I'm the largest person in our class, which is crazy. And I think that my high school reunion, you can watch that video right here or wherever. I think that my high school reunion video and seeing everyone there, it really sparked something inside of me to say, hey, I, I need to make a life change because all my other classmates are doing so well from a health perspective. And I'm, I just look, I, I don't look at all like I should. And I'm not being healthy. And so I think that really woke me up. And that's the original reason why I wanted to go see a doctor is because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't I wasn't, uh, I just wanted to get my life back on track. When I went there to the high school reunion, my life was not on track. And I, I really wanted to go back to getting my life on track. So um, the next video you're going to see, the next video you're gonna see, I'm gonna explain either it's gonna be my daily routine or how I became not pre-diabetic. So, we'll see how that goes. But, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Super appreciate sharing my life with you guys and uh, I hope you're all doing well. If you haven't already, please drop a like on this video so that you can see uh, the future changes. I have a lot of big plans for this channel. I have a lot of uh, a lot of things I want to do and there's some exciting new developments that I can't talk about I can't believe I'm saying that I'm like one of the youtubers who has like a big show or something and um, I I actually can't talk about it but I will I will tell you guys more if you guys follow me on Instagram that's where you're gonna see a lot of information about it and if you guys are also subscribed because well, I might use the YouTube stories function I don't know maybe anyhow hopefully um, hopefully that's something that you're interested in but again thank you guys so much for watching super appreciate you guys I hope you guys have a great day thank you guys for watching I will see you guys later adios a todo I haven't done this outro in so long. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will see you guys later. Au revoir tout le monde. Adios a todo. Belluma de olio.